but there are also other environmental influences that we are often not aware of. And some of these were investigated in the study. Dogs on the street, pumas on your feet, how cues in the environment influence product evaluation and choice. This study begins with the observation that the sales of Mars, you know the chocolate bar Mars, that the sales of Mars increased when the NASA successfully landed their Mars rover Pathfinder on the planet Mars. So even though the Mars bar takes its name from the company founder and not from the Earth's neighboring planet, um, the omnipresence of the word Mars seems to have an impact on the sales rates of the Mars bar. And to investigate whether such environmental influences can have an impact on our product choice, the researchers conducted some experiments. For example, they asked 144 passers-by one day before Halloween. Well, please list five things from the category candy or chocolate and please list five things from the category lemonade. Another group of participants were asked one week later at the same time of the day. And what they were interested in was whether one day before Halloween, which is obviously a very orange time, all everywhere you can see the orange pumpkins and orange is the dominating color. They wanted to know whether one day before Halloween people name more orange products more orange candy and chocolate and whether they named more orange colored lemonade and indeed they found one day before Halloween more orange colored products were named. In a second very interesting study but with in my opinion a small number of participants. We will discuss methodological aspects of all these studies in the upcoming episodes. Um, in this study, 29 students were asked to choose from 20 product pairs. And some of the products were, you could say, orange products, for example, Fanta, and some were green products, for example, Sprite. And to answer the questions of this survey, they were given either an orange pen or a green pen. And indeed, the color of the pen had an impact on their product preference. When they were given a green pen, they decided more often for green products. When they, had, when they were given an orange pen, they more often decided for an orange product. So very interesting and in a way crazy results. Another way to influence consumer decisions seem to be scrambled sentences which are frequently used in the priming literature. The idea is you give people scrambled sentences, like for example, he prestige what want did, and they have to rebuild this sentence. They have to make a sentence which makes sense. In this case, they were instructed to leave out one of the words. So they could have said, um, what did he want? Another group of participants is given the words he frugal what want did. And as you see, only one word is exchanged. This time it's not prestige, this time it's frugal. And one correct answer could be what did he want? So again, the same solution. And if you give participants a lot of these sentences and some of these scrambled sentences emphasize saving money. Um, in this way, you prime for the one group the concept of being frugal. For the other group, you prime the concept of prestige. And then you tell the participants, well, here's the second study. It has 
nothing to do with the first study is we just conducted these two studies together because of um, saving time and money and in the second study the participants are presented different products and they have to decide between a very expensive and prestigious product and a more cheap and more money saving product and in the study of Tanya Chartrand and colleagues it turned out that this priming of concepts can have an impact on their consumer decision so participants who were thinking about solutions for scrambled sentences like he prestige what want did more often decided for prestigious products whereas people who thought about solutions for he frugal what want did more often decided for money saving products 